Hello, today I'm going to be demonstrating a little project that I'm working on called a clapper. So what I've been doing is I have built a clapper which recognizes a distinct uh, pattern of uh, noise and will initiate only if that distinct pattern of noise is detected. And I have built in certain controls uh, which includes a, uh, a threshold value which means that um, the noise has to be above a certain volume. The noise has to take place within, certain, within a certain maximum duration from start to finish. And the noises have to occur in a certain um, on and off um, pattern. So with those three levels of control, I've been able to build a clapper, which is uh, uh, fairly responsive to uh, that particular pattern, but it does not initiate with just random background noise. So what I'm doing is I'm using an Atmel microcontroller, you can see it right there, which is located on, a, on an Arduino Uno prototype board. And I've got these jumper cables connected up, um, and you can see there's an electric microphone, which is uh, hooked up to an audio amplifier running at 5 volts. And uh, whenever the bit pattern is detected, it flashes that LED and plays a small little tune on that little uh, speaker right there. So what I did this morning was I sat down and asked myself how can I detect a specific bit pattern? And so what I did was I came up with an idea of having five distinct uh, time frames, one, two, three, four, five, and what I have is the Atmel microcontroller monitoring the analog to digital converter which is on the microcontroller chip and for each time frame it's looking for a noise which is above a certain threshold which I can manipulate through a variable. If the sound is above that particular threshold and it occurs you know at a certain point in time then either a 1 or a 0 is assigned to each one of those time frames. Each one of those time frames essentially becomes a vector or a, uh, an array you know, and then what I have is I have two different bit patterns that I'm detecting. Um, one is the start bit that initiates the software, so on the first noise, a one is put into the first slot. Then um, the patterns that I'm detecting are one, zero, one, zero, 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 or I'm detecting one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. So what you can see is that the first bit initiates the software to analyze the sounds and then I have to have a spacing and then I have um, the second noise which you know can either come in the third the, you know the third or the fourth time slot and then the, for the remaining analysis period there has to be no sound above the threshold and what you can see here over on the computer because the computer is monitoring uh, the Atmel microcontroller that's just like the, the random uh, bits of data coming in the analog converter. Now what you'll notice is if I tap the desk, you can see how it detected bit 2 and also the first tap and then it played the sound and I'll do it again. But you'll notice that it's not uh, being set off by my voice and it's not going to be set off by random background noise, which I'm going to initiate right now. So you, maybe you can hear that random background noise. It's a little uh, dance music being played there on the radio. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull the Atmel microcontroller off the demo board and put it right onto the breadboard and I'm going to run it off of a 9-volt battery and show that to you.